What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we are going to be doing the Manchester City Deadline Day Special, a transfer update. So make sure you strap yourselves in and stay tuned because we have got some confirmed deals, some surprises and I'm going to give you all the latest developments and my thoughts also. So stay tuned for that. But like always, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you help support my channel. Press that red button, subscribe and press the bell, put your push notifications on to be notified immediately when I do upload, aiming for 6,000 subscribers. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. And don't forget also, you can check out my social media links, which you can find in the description below and popping up on screen. If you want to go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, where I'll keep you up to date with everything happening with the latest Manchester City news, transfer news, and also JSGC news. And don't forget also my email in the description below too. If you want to go and hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We're going to crack on with this transfer update. And it comes in the form of a new name. It comes in the form of Jan Kuto of um, Cortiba, is that how you say their name, over in Brazil. He's a Brazilian right back, he's 17 years old and a source was reporting just yesterday that Manchester City have agreed a 15 million euro, another source was saying City the fee was 60, uh, 12 million euro, so a bit of a debate as to whether it's 15 or 12 million, but they were both reporting that there's going to be a fee up front and then there's going to be some add-ons the 15 million pound source was saying uh, 9 million euro fee up front, 6 million euro in add-on the 12 million euro one was reporting it's a six million euro upfront deal and a six million euro deal with add-ons now the source was uh, saying that him the uh, that uh, Kuto will be staying with Cortiba until the end of the season and when when he turns 18 will join Manchester City apparently he's already in England and he's set to sign for Manchester City on Monday of course that will be after the transfer deadline day but City are still free uh, to sign pre-contracted agreements just like we did with Gabriel Jesus we signed him and then brought him in in the next window and so it could be something happening very similar whereas we signed Jesus in the summer and brought him in in the winter we could be signing a player in the winter and bringing them in in the summer. It's interesting. Barcelona, apparently, they've been linked to. Apparently, City have stolen a march on Barcelona. Now, it was being reported just earlier today that he's expected not to sign for Manchester City, Kuto, but he's expected, actually, to sign for the CFG. So, what City's plans are for that... I do not know. We'll have to wait and see. But apparently City are going to be having a meeting in Brazil, which will be happening very soon. I don't know whether that's already happened or that will be happening in the coming days. But apparently Kuto could be signing for... Will it be Man City? Will it be the CFG? One way or the other. But City are very keen on this player. And so we're going to have to keep an eye on where this goes. Is it going to be another one of them young players that comes to Manchester City and we never see him in a City shirt? I do not know. We'll have to wait and see. Now we're moving on to the outs now. It comes in the form of Angelino. Now he has signed for Red Bull Leipzig over in Germany on loan until the end of the season. I wasn't expecting this. This was being reported like a couple of hours ago and then within an hour of that being reported that that was happening, he had indeed signed for Red Bull Leipzig. So I'm just going to break this deal down for you. But if you are a Leipzig fan and you're watching this, he's a quality left back Angelino. He's been out on loan at PSV um, a couple of seasons ago, PSV then signed him permanently. They had him for a season. He had another good season with PSV. So Man City decided to sign him back because he had a release clause where City could sign him for a deal worth around £7 million. He's then been in and around the Manchester City squad, but he hasn't been starting too many games. And so my first initial thoughts was he's been loaned to Leipzig to try and get some more game time with Zinchenko coming back and Benjamin Mendy coming back. Maybe City being a bit frustrated with his game time. Maybe Angelino's been a bit frustrated with his game time and he's wanted to leave. I didn't know the full situation so I was like maybe City are just looking for him to get more game time but indeed actually there is more to this um, but he's an attacking full back plays at left back he's a very good player he's, got a, he's a decent crosser of the ball uh, and I have no doubt that should he get regular playing time at Leipzig that he'll be an extremely good player he's got so much promise there I feel like he just needs a season or two to be able to settle in uh, if you give him that time he's one of them players that will develop and become a really good player and of course Germany well known for producing uh, really good quality young players so I have no doubt that this would be an excellent low move for him but it was being reported that Manchester City actually have put an option for Leipzig to be able to sign Angelino. That fee is £25 million. Some were reporting that they think that this is a little low. Some were reporting that actually it might be a little high. So it all depends on what your opinion is. To me, it sounds roughly about right. Angelino is a great player. He's a good quality player. He's got lots of prospects there. But he hasn't developed into that player yet. Um, obviously, Premier League players tend to be a little bit more expensive. He's a homegrown 
Manchester City player. Another reason for me to be to surprised that he's leaving. City have a lack of homegrown players and we're letting another homegrown player leave out on loan. An option to buy rather than an obligation to buy. It does leave uh, little alleyways here for things to be a little bit unsuccessful, which I will talk about. But, um, yeah, Leipzig, they're getting themselves a good quality young player. I'm just a little bit frustrated from a City point of view that we've not been able to uh, prosper another young player. And we're seeing him leave. And it looks like, to me anyway, that possibly Angelino's future isn't at Manchester City. And so, uh, yeah, I'm just really frustrated because he has all the potential in the world. Uh, I feel like, uh, I I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure why we signed Angelino if this was our plan. Of course, he was getting linked back in the summer with moves to PSG, £15 million. I feel like City have signed him and wanted to profit which, of course, from an Angelino point of view and a person point of view, um, is something I don't agree with. But from a business point of view, and I do have qualifications in business, I think that's very shrewd of Manchester City to be able to do because if things do materialise and things go well for him at Leipzig, for Angelino, then Manchester City stand to make £18 million profit whilst Angelino's not played too many times for Manchester City in a turnaround of just a season. It's actually really good business for us. Um... But like I was saying, like Premier League players are just well overpriced, and so uh, when we're looking at young players and leaving, you always got to look for a smaller fee. I would be hoping that if that £25 million feature is in, that City would have a, another buyback clause for him to come back. But I imagine Angelino, uh, with the amount of times he's been messed around at City and loaned out and sold and brought back and being sold and possibly being sold permanently again, uh, would he want to come back? I probably wouldn't blame him if he didn't want to come back. And so uh, it's a really odd one, and I would love to know your thoughts of this in the comments below but yeah 25 million pounds let me know your thoughts of this in the comments below will he leave the one bad situation and i said before the alleyways that this might not be so successful is what happens if um angelino doesn't feature too many times for leipzig or he picks up an injury or something happens they're not going to activate that 25 million pound option what do we do then is he going to be sold for, for a similar fee as city go look for 25 million pounds is his value going to be 25 million pounds i would have thought actually his value would come down and so that profit that i was talking about 18 million pound that city could make could come down are we going to loan him again next season? This has all the potential here of being terribly managed. And so it's important that City uh, get this right. And I'm surprised we've accepted a loan bid with uh, not an obligation to buy if City were looking for him to be sold. It does surprise me. One thing that I am surprised at is if City did want to do this, and this is their plan with Angelino, why they're not trying to do this a lot earlier in the window rather than leaving it to deadline day. Uh, anyway, it's one for something for us to talk about maybe in the summer. So do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now we're moving on to a couple more stories comes in the form of another City player comes in the form of R.O. Murich now at the time of me recording this video there's still roughly around three to four hours left of the transfer window and it's been reported so things change very quickly I mean things might be sorted by the time I've filmed this edited this and uploaded this but R.O. Murich apparently uh, City are trying to get him another loan so they're trying to recall him from Nottingham Forest and have him another loan if they don't seal another loan I'm going to presume that R.O. Murich will stay at Nottingham Forest obviously not the best for his career and I'm hoping that we can get him a new club before the deadline day so he can get some regular playing time and get to show everybody just how good, good a quality a keeper R.O. Murich is and it's the same situation with Matt Smith who is on loan at Queen's Park Rangers City are looking for another club to try and loan him to who is that going to be is it going to happen before the end of the window we've still got a couple of question marks over the futures of R.O. Murich and Matt Smith and I will keep you up to date with everything happening with these players when I next put out my transfer update but it's we've been doing these now uh, all month it's been incredibly uh, exciting it's been incredibly it's been fantastic i love doing these videos but it's also been incredibly tiring and so we're right at the grasp now of the ending of how things have gone of course we'll have a summary coming up of city's transfer business in january it's not been the most liveliness in terms of ins but uh, i feel like things have really warmed up over the last couple hours just as it's got to deadline day with angelino uh, leaving i just wasn't expecting it it's took me by surprise so yeah love to know your thoughts of that in the comments below we've got plenty of manchester city content coming up for you to look forward to so make sure you stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on you can find my social media links which you can find in description below and popping up on screen for my twitter and instagram if you want to go and follow me on there that would be much appreciated you can also find my email in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries let me know your thoughts in the comments below leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video like comment share subscribe all that good stuff uh, and yeah i'll see you all again for the next video so we've got a preview coming up this weekend for the tottenham hotspur game hoping to get some kind of transfer update possibly up over the weekend too for you all to look forward to and i'll see you all again for the next video so it's been jsgc hope we'll have a wonderful rest of your day peace
Ciao for now.